Hi, everybody. Can uh, everybody hear me properly? Please write in chat. Okay, so I think we can. Uh, okay. And uh, can everybody see me? Yes. Okay. So it seems like everything is fine. And uh, everyone who wanted to attend our meeting is already here. So let's begin our uh, webinar that is uh, connected with our new revolutionary AI powered XORKI synthesis mode. My name is Mikhail Rybkin, and I am a junior data recovery specialist in our great company called Rusalot. So, uh, yes, <laughs> let's begin. Uh, but first of all, I'd uh, ask you all to remind yourself what is uh, in general scrambling and for which uh, uh, necessaries uh, it is used. As you all know, scrambling uh, operation is used to randomize data and remove data patterns due to charge leakage from adjacent cells. Uh, modern controllers use uh, scrambling uh, due to poor quality of modern chips and uh, all of you know that uh, uh, to recover data sometimes can be um, a quite hard process due to poor quality of uh, those chips. And uh, scrambling helps us to store this data in a quite uh, secure uh, method. And uh, uh, as you all know, there can be also uh, other operations such as uh, inversions or data can be stored uh, uh, directly on chip. But today we're talking about XORKIs, so let's talk about them. Okay, as you all know, uh, some time ago we have invented uh, XOR analyzer which uh, helps you to find proper XOR keys uh, with uh, patterns. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, XOR key patterns looks like this. Uh, and uh, there is uh, quite a huge chance to find such blocks in every dump because uh, controllers sometimes write uh, XOR on uh, uh, zeros uh, and uh, devices um, uh, sometimes are storing those zeros. So uh, just uh, if we are talking about math, uh, XOR applied on zeros will be XOR. And uh, that's how our uh, XOR analyzer worked uh, some time ago. Uh, but uh, there were also uh, some cases where um, there were only some uh, pages uh, within the whole block uh, that uh, contained XOR pattern. And uh, this was actually a problem because uh, sometimes uh, there are no blocks originally filled with zeros and it's uh, hard to recognize XOR key pattern. Uh, but uh, as I said uh, previously, on the other hand, there may also be a situation where just uh, some pages contain uh, a XOR key pattern. And um, in uh, some uh, cases, we uh, were combinating just uh, some pages uh, from one block with uh, some pages from the other blocks and constructing uh, full XOR key for the whole dump using just uh, our hands. Uh, but today we can say that uh, that's in the past, at least uh, for silicon motion controllers, uh, because uh, we are now introducing you 
new uh, powered with artificial intelligence uh, silicon motion XOR generator. Uh, yes, that's uh, how it uh, looks like uh, in software. And uh, as you can see in uh, uh, horizontal part, uh, there are a number of data area chunks, uh, which you are detecting uh, while uh, defining uh, page structure. And uh, every data area chunk is just a data area in your page structure. And uh, if we are talking about uh, a vertical, uh, part of our XOR key synthesis uh, window, that's just number of pages. And uh, it's uh, directly written that that's just number of pages. And each page uh, from the block is analyzed uh, uh, in uh, its own way. Uh, I'd also ask you when you are using uh, this uh, element, uh, firstly, to apply um, uh, first, to be sure that you have applied uh, uh, this XOR key for your data area and uh, eventually uh, for a service area, because sometimes uh, it's also XOR, and uh, I will talk about this uh, today. Uh, but uh, in uh, most of cases, uh, this uh, structure will be passed uh, automatically. And uh, as you know, our ECC uh, code word analyzer, uh, in case if uh, there is proper code words uh, for your case, will automatically pass your page structure to your case. And uh, that's all if we are talking about just page structure. Okay, and uh, as I said a uh, few minutes ago, uh, there are also problems with uh, uh, service area descrambling sometimes um, because uh, in uh, some cases uh, uh, silicon motion controllers uh, are scrambling all, also service area because uh, for controller manufacturer it's just easier on or we don't know <laughs> what they are mean by uh, you know, sorry in service area uh, and uh, on this slide, you can see that uh, uh, how, how service area looks like uh, uh, scrambled way and uh, after our anchoring. Uh, fortunately, we have found uh, quite a good method to anchor service area. And uh, you can see that uh, in uh, this case that is shown on this slide, we have uh, found proper XOR key that even LPN, logical page number, is uh, clearly seen. Okay. Uh, and uh, sometimes uh, if you uh, have not uh, unsort your uh, service area, uh, there can be a problem with uh, proper building of logical image with finding file structures. But as I said, uh, with our new plugin, it's possible to descramble your SA properly. But uh, you may also uh, forget just to uh, apply your XOR key for SA. And uh, we are reminding you in this presentation that uh, uh, it's necessary also to uh, just choose apply XOR key to SA flag. Okay, and uh, now the question is uh, how fast this uh, algorithm is, because sometimes uh, the block sizes can be really huge, and uh, uh, some of uh, some of us can uh, uh, just ask the question: How long will it uh, take to generate proper XOR key if I have? I don't know, for example, uh, 700 uh, pages block size. And uh, here is clearly seen that our, our uh, algorithm is um, 
uh, regularly improving its speed because uh, it's uh, uh, with uh, artificial intelligence uh, implemented. And as you see, uh, some time ago, we have generated um, uh, fine uh, XOR key uh, for a block with uh, 768 pages within four minutes. And uh, these speeds will increase all the time. And uh, the next question may be how it actually works with artificial intelligence. And uh, I will uh, tell you about this uh, sometime uh, after uh, the other hint that is implemented to this uh, method, because uh, our new plugin is also tolerant to bit errors. Uh, Sometimes there are cases uh, with uh, really huge capacity devices, uh, for example, uh, uh, 256 gigabytes or 128 uh, gigabytes. Um, and uh, the dump correction, uh, which we are calling reread, uh, read retry, uh, for such tubes may take uh, up to several days. And uh, uh, some of us can. Uh, ask themselves uh, a question if uh, there is uh, a need to uh, correct such dumps, because uh, will I be able to build the rest of solution if I spend uh, a lot of days for correction and uh, just waste my time uh, and uh, there will be no results? Uh, we can say that uh, our new plugin is tolerant to really bad dumps and you can generate uh, your XOR key even there are a lot of bit errors. And uh, I will show you today that uh, uh, even with uh, whole uh, ECC map uh, red, there is uh, possible to generate fine XOR key. Okay. And uh, now how it works. Uh, our uh, new algorithm uh, is analyzing the whole dump uh, to find uh, good blocks for XOR key synthesis. Uh, and uh, after you're clicking uh, apply XOR key on uh, your dump, uh, uh, some information is uh, collected by our servers uh, and uh, our database uh, is receiving new XOR keys. Well, actually uh, there are no uh, chances to uh, uh, even a single byte or bit of users uh, data or physical dump transferred to our servers. Uh, and we guarantee our clients uh, that um, their data will be secured. Uh, okay, when we are receiving new XOR key, our uh, AI algorithm is um, uh, analyzing it and uh, comparing it with other XOR keys that we have uh, analyzed before in our lab and uh, in uh, your cases. Uh, and uh, more than uh, 150 keys were analyzed before this uh, uh, product was uh, introduced. And uh, we can now say that uh, uh, this algorithm is working really fine because we have already received um, uh, more than 15 completely new XOR keys in our database since uh, VNR 5.0 was introduced. And uh, now I'm uh, gonna uh, show you some uh, cases uh, with uh, XOR key generating uh, to show you how it really works uh, and how you can use it in your cases. Okay, here is uh, one of the simplest cases to be done. And uh, I'm just 
applying my XOR key element to ECC. As you can see, there is page structure defined. And uh, as you also can see that uh, SA in uh, this uh, case is not XORed. So we uh, don't need to uh, check this flag to apply XOR key to our uh, service area. And as you can see, there is also a page structure applied automatically and it will be in uh, most of cases. So we can just run and wait until it will be generated. Okay, so a few words uh, about those um, uh, green squares. If there is uh, one green square, uh, that means that uh, in one page for one uh, uh, data area code word, XOR key was properly applied, found and applied. Okay, as you can see for the first page, we have already generated proper XOR key and now it's going quite faster because uh, it had found uh, information that it needed. And now it's going. Okay, a uh, few words about uh, hardware uh, on which we recommend to use this uh, plugin. Recommend to use uh, when your case is opened uh, on SSD because it will go faster just. Okay, um, at the time that uh, our XOR key is generating, um, you can ask uh, any questions you have, uh, obviously about uh, our new element. Okay, I must also say that uh, we use uh, several mathematics uh, algorithm for analysis and uh, then several statistical methods of, for verification uh, answering the question about uh, uh, Berlecamp messy algorithm. And uh, we're actually not, before I mentioned something about hardware, please say again. Oh, I've just said that uh, we recommend to uh, use uh, our new plugin uh, when your case is opened uh, on SSD, then it will go just faster. For each case, you need to run this process again or the key remains locally after discovered. Uh, for each case, uh, you need to run this process again, but uh, if um, Previously, there were uh, there was a huge amount of cases with uh, such XOR key, then it will be generated uh, much faster. And if you had uh, such key, uh, then it will be generated within one minute. Can you tell us a little more about what type of data is uploaded to the cloud? Well, don't worry about your confidential information. Uh, we'll uh, respect uh, security of your data. Uh, that's just uh, a small amount of numbers. Uh, not a single bit will be transferred to our cloud. You can be sure. And we guarantee that. Just uh, some numbers that can tell us uh, information about uh, generated XOR key. Uh, yes, there will be XOR key saved in the case and you can find uh, uh, one file with uh, key extension in your case folder. Build XOR key synthesis key build to handle dynamic XOR. At the moment, uh, we have uh, invented a plugin only for uh, static XOR keys, uh, but uh, we are working uh, all the time to find ways to hack uh, dynamic source too. 
Okay, well, uh, I uh, need also to say that uh, our new plugin is available on our client portal with uh, Visual Nand Reconstructor 5.0 uh, software. And uh, it's available only for clients with uh, active subscription for our support, as you know. If okay, found. Uh, well, uh, Yox or Key will not available for everyone until it uh, will be located in our trusted database because uh, there are some really rare Yox or Keys uh, which uh, are not first priority ones. So not all XOR keys will be available for everyone if data area key and the say key are separated will it apply to the whole uh, what do you mean on uh, data area key and sa key separated Can you please clarify your question? I mean, in some cases, say has a key and data another. Ah, yeah, that no, in uh, as as uh, someone has answered. Uh, uh, it's the same key. You do not need to uh, take one more element to your workspace uh, and uh, generate another key for uh, service area. Just uh, click uh, apply XOR key to service area and that's all. Should work. Because uh, there is no chance to controller to use uh, different uh, XOR key generation methods for service area and uh, data area. For sure, they are generated by the same algorithm. So uh, the XOR key that uh, was found for data area should work also for service area. But anyway, with uh, active support, you can uh, usually uh, create a ticket and ask for help in our help center, of course. Okay, as uh, you can see, our XOR key synthesis uh, is uh, slowly going to the end. Um, but uh, I must also say that uh, in uh, next cases, it will be generated uh, much faster because uh, it seems like uh, there are rare um, coefficients used in this XOR key, so it's generated uh, slowly. Um, we are actually working to implement such uh, algorithm for other uh, controller vendors and. Uh, I think that within uh, some months we will introduce uh, such uh, solutions for uh, other controller vendors and uh, Python will be there too. Okay, our XOR key is generated and now we can just check it. Okay, I have prepared uh, marker stable before so Let's just check our logical image. Okay, there are some structures. Okay, and uh, as you see, XOR key was found properly, but uh, any of files uh, get a green flag. That's just due to our dump was not fixed. And uh, as you can see in uh, ECC map, There are no uh, no pages corrected at all. 
and uh, that's uh, what I was talking about uh, when um, I told you that uh, our algorithm is tolerant to bit errors because uh, in this case, uh, dump is totally damaged and uh, it uh, needs to be rereaded. So, but there is no problem to generate uh, XOR key and just then to reread your dump. Okay. But we can uh, be sure that our algorithm is 100% uh, uh, good one because uh, uh, there are file structure and uh, it seems like uh, files names are proper. Okay, let's move on and uh, open next cases. Yes. Mm, that's uh, quite um, a bigger one device uh, and uh, there are bad columns as you can see. Uh, this one is uh, more complicated than previous, but we can also generate XOR key for this one. As previously, there is defined page, page structure. Until the end, and service area is not XOR, just inverted. Okay, and we are now running our process and uh, I hope that it will take some more, uh, some less time than uh, previously. Oh, and now it's going uh, faster. As you can see in uh, the first page, uh, code words uh, with numbers five and uh, six were not found, but uh, our uh, AI uh, method uh, allows us to correct those uh, errors at the end of generating. Now it's going, as you can see, a little bit faster because uh, coefficients for this uh, XOR key are uh, more popular than previously. And we have already generated 100 uh, pages of proper XOR key. I have also applied uh, one XOR key from our data database uh, using uh, previous XOR analyzer. And uh, I will show you the difference uh, between uh, new method and all method uh, showing uh, FEAT tables and uh, how our old XOR works and uh, how new one is applied. The next case will be uh, the biggest one because uh, we'll show you uh, the work of this algorithm uh, on a device with uh, block size uh, equal to 3000 pages, more than 3000 pages. Well, uh, there is uh, one more hint uh, uh, that is connected with uh, XOR key synthesis for page zero. Uh, at uh, the beginning of uh, synthesis, uh, page zero will uh, always be uh, read because uh, uh, XOR key for page zero is uh, generated uh, at the end. That's how uh, algorithm uh, works. So uh, don't mind if uh, in your first cases, uh, page zero will uh, be read at the beginning. Well, as you can see, our fifth and uh, sixth uh, code word were corrected and uh, proper XOR key was uh, uh, at the end found for uh, 
page zero and page one code word five, five and six. And we can now apply it and uh, look on our CAT tables. Okay, and let's find them. Here they are. As I uh, have mentioned before, in this case, uh, service area is uh, not scrambled, just inverted. And uh, have a look on our uh, file allocation tables. Um, it looks pretty good. So uh, in this case, uh, we will be able even to build a file structure. But uh, I think that so we will not waste our time uh, sorting markers table. Just uh, I wanted to show you uh, how one of XOR keys uh, that was uh, proposed by our previous algorithm um, uh, depend on uh, FAT tables. Have a look. I'm now building markers table. And uh, I will fi find uh, those file allocation tables with uh, XOR key from database apply applied. Have a look. That's uh, due to uh, some pages are in uh, our block from XOR analyzer are different. And uh, as you can see, uh, file allocation tables uh, are not clean and uh, it will be impossible to recover data with uh, this XOR key. Okay, and now moving on to our uh, last case, which will be the biggest one with block size uh, 3072. And uh, well, I will delete this one. Uh, and this device is uh, really huge. Uh, that's uh, 128 uh, gigabytes of data there. And uh, to not waste your time, and um, uh, I will show you uh, Xorky generate and just on few random, randomly selected blocks. As you can see, there is just noise. Uh, no XORKI patterns, just some noise. And uh, there is uh, only a hint for you because uh, you can also extract a few blocks from your dump and uh, generate your XORKI on them and then apply it on the whole uh, dump. Okay, our structure is uh, correct and uh, service area uh, is not XORT, just uh, also inverted. And we are now running our process. Okay, and uh, it's going really fast because uh, very, very popular coefficients were found. And as you can see, it's uh, the fastest XOR key generation from all the cases that uh, were shown today. And uh, as previously, uh, in uh, the first case, um, uh, there are a lot of bit errors in this dump. And uh, I will show you some places uh, with uh, pages that contain zeros. And uh, you will see that this dump is uh, quite full of uh, bit errors. That's just uh, a reminder that our XOR key is uh, working with uh, bit error tolerance. Well, and as you can see, uh, for uh, even such a big uh, block, XORKI was synthesized uh, quite, uh, quite fastly. And we can now just apply it on the whole dump. 
and uh, don't uh, forget to uh, apply it. Uh, there will be just uh, a window with uh, a question if you want to apply existing XOR key or to generate it uh, for uh, the second time. And you may click just yes. And um, this is applied. And uh, as, uh, as I said, I will show you some places with uh, bit errors. Uh, and well, well, I run now or mm, places that I wanted to show you. Well, okay. Let's just see the ECC map. Well, oh. okay. See the graph, um, and there are places uh, that were not corrected at all, even with uh, correct dump button. So our dump was uh, quite poor and XORKey was still generated. Uh, so let's not waste, waste time uh, for uh, building logical images. Uh, furthermore, that in this case, there will be no file structure. Uh, let's just uh, answer eventually your questions and uh, we will slowly finish our meeting for today. Are there any questions? Uh, of course, because uh, we keys from bed dumps. Uh, uh, we, we, as I said uh, previously, we uh, don't save uh, the whole blocks with uh, XOR keys, just uh, some numbers. And uh, it doesn't matter if uh, XOR key was generated from uh, poor dump or from uh, good dump, doesn't matter. And uh, these numbers will be useful for other cases too, of course. Okay, if uh, what happens if I miss removing a bad column? Um, well, uh, <laughs> if you will be able to build page structure uh, without removing bad columns, uh, that would be a fairy tale, but uh, I don't think that you will uh, be able to uh, find ECC to automatically uh, page structure defining. Uh, without removing bed columns. And uh, when you will do it yourself, then you will not be able to do uh, the page structure with bed columns remaining in your DOM. And uh, XORKey will not be generated uh, too. Okay, in case if uh, there are no more questions, we can uh, end our meeting. Thank you all very much for uh, attention and uh, have a nice day. See you in uh, future meetings or eventually in tickets. Thank you all, goodbye. <laughs>